The saddle is one of, if not the most important components you can have on a bike. You can have the lightest frame and the fastest wheels, but if your saddle causes you discomfort, you're not going to enjoy the rides. Luckily, there are hundreds, if not thousands of saddles to choose from. But to help you whittle down that bewildering choice, we've plucked six really good saddles from the ROTC Review Archive. Now, choosing a saddle is a personal thing. We'd strongly recommend trying a few out, and most good bike shops would only be too happy to help. And some brands even have their own test programs that let you try a couple of different saddles out. So the saddles in this list have been approved by our test team, and we reckon there's something for everyone from super light race saddles to comfortable all-day epic riding perches. And we'd love to hear what saddle you use and recommend, so hit us up in the comments with your favourite, and don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video useful. If you've got deep pockets and an interest in the trend of new stubby saddles that are popular right now, this Dimension Knack saddle from Italian firm Pro Logo might tickle your fancy. If you like riding fast in the drops and always find yourself on the nose of the saddle, then maybe you'll like short nose saddles like this one. It's comfortable when you're on the rivet and the wider rear gives you something to really push against and get the power out of your legs. It's not just performance riding where the dimension works though. Sit up and relax a bit and you'll find the shape of the saddle and the panning offer a decent balance of comfort and support. It looks great, feels great and is very well made. If you have no qualms of paying a little extra, the Dimension Knack is a brilliant saddle. The new Physique Arioni R1 versus Evo is a lightweight saddle that provides comfort and a pressure relief channel down the centre while still feeling stable enough to allow you to transfer power efficiently to the pedals. The Arioni is a classic. You might already even have one, but what's new here is the pressure relief channel. Lots of cyclists like saddles with this sort of channel, so the Italian company has responded to that level of demand. In use, you certainly notice that channel because there's no pressure at all down the middle. Everyone's different, but our tester found the new Versus Evo to be more comfortable than the regular Smooth Top R1, with more even distribution of pressure. The Physique Arioni R1 Versus Evo is a high-end option for riders with plenty of flexibility who like a flat saddle. If normal saddles leave you feeling uncomfortable and numb, the valley down the middle might provide the pressure relief that you need. The Specialized Ruby Expert saddle is made for superior performance on long rides, and it certainly fulfills that brief. It's slim and racy looking. We like the smooth matte cover made from water-resistant micro matrix. It's also very well made with every bit neatly finished. It's made with a carbon reinforced shell and hollow titanium rails and is decent if not super lightweight. One thing we like is the different width choices and the ability to try different sizes to see which suits you best. Specialized even has a special device for measuring your sit bone to size you up with the correct saddle and it works really well. The Ruby Expert isn't a cheap saddle, but if the racy, slim look, a little but too, not too much padding, a good weight, a central cutout, and more importantly, you find it's comfortable, that price tag will be very quickly forgotten. The Fabric Scoop is an increasingly popular saddle. We're seeing it spec'd on a lot of new bikes, and it's a good aftermarket upgrade choice. It's good and popular because, well, quite simply, it's comfortable, well-made, attractive, and at a fair price. Different versions are available too. This one is aimed at leisure, commuter, and off-road riders who adopt an upright position. So it has three gel inserts covering the three main pressure points. The seat is made from durable waterproof microfiber, which makes it very practical because it doesn't absorb water and wipes clean, and it doesn't scuff very easily either. So taking all those things into consideration, the Scoop is super comfy, well-made, sleek, and good value saddle for those with a wider sit bone. The Bontrager Montrose Pro Saddle looks great and is very well put together. It sits on the right side of the weight scale and is very comfortable in its intended race position use. It's minimal and low weight, and good looks add instant appeal. It's well made too, and the covering of a man-made soft-touch microfiber, it feels hard-wearing and proved resilient. Fitted to a race bike, our tester found it comfortable and suiting the more aggressive position typical of a race bike. The relatively stiff shell and rails means very little loss of power transfer to the pedals, while comfort from the cutaway and sloping wings is very impressive. 
So you should choose the Montrose if you want a good looking, high quality, light saddle that works well in a racing position. The distinctive Brooks Cambium saddle is wonderfully comfortable. It's a fusion of classic ideas and modern materials. You'll know Brooks is famous for its traditional leather saddles. The Cambium is different. Instead of a sheet of leather across the ends of the rails, Brooks has used a combination of vulcanized natural rubber, cotton canvas, and structural textile from the top. As well as the flexible, slightly stretchy rubber top, the Cambium provides its comfort by suspending you between the saddle ends. It supports you where you need it, and the movement helps prevent chafing, which is always a bonus. The construction creates a superbly comfortable saddle. It probably won't be for everyone, but most people that have tried one have never looked back. The bottom line is that this is the most immediate and enduringly comfortable saddle our tester has ever used. This isn't a saddle for weight weenies though, but a lighter carbon version is available if you're feeling particularly flush. So there we are, six very different saddles, but we reckon there's something for all requirements here. If you want more choice, we'll stick a link to the huge ROTC saddle review archive in the description below, and there are hundreds of in-depth saddle reviews to read through there. Make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and found it useful if you're shopping for a new saddle. And if you're not already, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future ROTC videos. We're publishing videos like this every single week. From me, Matt, and the rest of the ROTC team, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.